Wake up, Matthew. Pay attention. If you were riveted on what I was saying, you wouldn't, I wouldn't have to say that. Listen to everything I'm saying, buddy. Look, son, you get an opportunity, a very unique opportunity. You are already a spoiled kid. Your parents don't make you go to school in the district you're supposed to go in because you're babied and pampered. Now, t- bless God, sit up and s- praise God for that because you could be being punked out at North Platte High School. And you wouldn't be standing for God there. It wouldn't be easy. I'm just telling you. You still going to Hershey? Oh, where are you going? Oh, that stinks. Shows you I'm up, I'm up on that. So you ruined that opportunity then, huh? <laughs> I'm just telling you. And if you got a good mind, you understand the, the strengths of what they gave you before. If you got a bad mind, then you're just pouring yourself into the world anyway. It's more opportunities to be rebellious. Could you sit still, sir? I mean, aerobics, really, during church? Just calm down, dude. You don't need no medication. You need a size 12 right up beside your rear end. Just calm down. It's called self-control. You got any of that? Okay, if you're short on it, they may sell it at Walmart. But you need to purchase some of that before you come to church. It's called self-control. Got bus kids half your age sitting in church doing better than you right now. Just listen. Son, this is for you. The benefits of a family you have no idea about. But I'm sitting back saying after 27 years of marriage, I'm like, I'm glad I made the decision. And you would like it if you had it. Oh, let me tell you boys something. You would like it if you had the your original dads and your original moms together. You'd like it if the family was all still together. You'd like it if everybody was doing right in the sight of the Lord and God was blessing them. You Trust me, you'd like your attitude about church would be totally different.